Ireland's eight remaining fittest families battle it out Saturday night here on RTE1. Blood, sweat and tears at 7.30. Now Callum and Hunter are in for a surprise in Shortland Street. Sorry, am I interrupting? Not at all. Callum was just helping me with my necklace. Is that what you call it these days? What are you doing, Brooke? not what it looks like. Whose handbag is that? Mine. Rachel's. Are you stealing her stuff? I'm not a thief. All you caught me doing was sneaking a peek at another woman's jewelry. Why did you try to hide it? It was just an instinctive reaction. You're lying. I I'm not. I promise. Don't play games, Brooke. I know you too well. I can't help it. Please don't tell her. OK, Greg. Well, I'll take a look at it and get back to you. See ya. Is everything OK? Good. Yeah. Thank you, TK. Save the Brooke. We're going to talk, and then I'll decide what to do. Well, have we still got the dressmaker's number? Yeah, I found her already. She's coming around tomorrow. OK, but the letter now needs to be done by Thursday. I put the registry office. We're all set. Or I can cancel and we can do the whole church thing again. No, it will be super cute and we'll be married. That's all that counts. <laughs> yeah, and we can take your family for lunch afterwards. There's that new bistro on Swanson Hill. You don't need to do that. Sophie, we need to celebrate this. Celebrate us. So how many should I book for? Just you, me and Dad. It's probably better this way. Hunter, but we cut our first wedding, and that's all that did to you. It's lucky he's getting a second chance. So are we. Yeah, but you really want him there. I just want to get married, and I don't need him for that. I just need you. <laughs> My brother, give me some things. I'll have to tell Rachel and... No. Please. Why did you do it? She wronged me. I retaliated. It made me feel better. How did she wrong you? By being better than me. More beautiful, more gutsy. She's got my job, my ex-boyfriend. Callum. So you took her for revenge? Pettiness, thy name is Brooke Freeman. Yeah, it is pity. But it doesn't explain things. Oh, you couldn't help it? It was a compulsion? How long have you done this for? Longer than I care to remember. I bet you do. I know what you're thinking. Poor little rich girl. Try me. Well, you know the story. How my father, the con artist, went bankrupt. Walked out on me and my mother. My friends took it out on me. It wasn't fair. I was only 16. I had this one friend, Leona Roberts. And she used to tease me so bad. So one day, I went through her bag during PE and took her favourite bracelet. And she cried all through lunch. And it made me feel better, knowing that someone else was hurting as much as I am. Was, I mean. Brooke. Don't be kind to me. I know you hate me for who I am. But I can't help it. I wish I could, but I can't. No, that's just your excuse for not being kind to yourself. I don't need the motivational talk, TK. I don't need your pity and I don't need your support. Yeah, you do, so sit down. Talk to me. 
What do you mean, like, like? And all the <laughs> presenter guy can say is, you are being shagged by a rare parrot. Oh. <laughs> He's talking dirty with your mother, damn you. Oh. Oh, hardly. <laughs> hey, thanks for deprogramming me from the cult of the cabbage. No worries. Uh, you and Lauren, did you snog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a mint eating success? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's this? Um, I gave uh, Daniel a steak sandwich. Yeah, and Lauren couldn't taste the difference. Um, you did tell her that you're no longer a vegetarian, though, right? No way. Mm. In a relationship, you see, you, you save the painful honesty thing for the big stuff. Like everything, because it's all big stuff. So, so always tell the truth. <clears throat> Good relationships are built on honesty. Yeah, yeah. These are Lauren's beliefs. You don't have to share them, but you do have to respect them. Yes, and if she doesn't respect that you respect that, then there's no respect between you two. Capish. You're wasting your time, Diego. I'm not if it helps you. I'm beyond help. I haven't done a good thing in my life. I'm getting that food for the mission, that was a good like thing. Like, I care about the homeless. It was just a show to try and make you think that I'm a half-decent person. And that's not all. I, I've been manipulating you from the start. Those problems with Sarah. Hey, that wasn't your fault. Part of it was. And then when I finally had you, I pushed you too hard and you dropped me. I guess that makes us even. Please. You realised that you were using me as a way of dealing with losing Sarah. But I was using you too. Hoping like hell that you would fall in love with me so I didn't have to keep being this person anymore. Look, you don't need to put on an act every time you want someone to like you. <laughs> well, now you know the real me. The pathetic little puppeteer whose strings have finally snapped. Don't. You feel responsible now, don't you? Yeah, I do. Well, That's you're not. <laughs> you were right to want to have nothing to do with me. I'll move out tomorrow. Look, you don't have to. No, I've been dragging my heels for too long. Another little trick of mine. Fine. Just as long as you don't drink too much and end up singing or start one of your monologues. You know you love it when I do. I'll see you tomorrow. What did he want? To torture me. It was my dad, Reuben. <laughs> Why didn't you introduce me? Next time. What's this thing tomorrow? Dad's birthday. I'm expected to have lunch with him, which probably means that no one else wants to. Well, if it's going to be too intense, I can come. No. What's with the toy? Well, why don't you want me to meet your dad? Yeah, you've met my mum. That was your choice. Yeah, because it was important to me, because I'm proud of you, Lauren. Well, I'm not proud of anyone. <laughs> don't you think pride is just a way to own another person's success? Uh, Lauren. Like uh, couch potatoes who say they're proud of the All Blacks, or being proud of Reese Darby because you went to school with him. OK, so you're not proud of me, but you still could have introduced me. It's being respectful. I don't want you to meet my dad. Get over it, Daniel. <sighs> yeah, whatever. This room is very plain at the moment. I was going to write that. All Hunt has to do is turn up. It would mean the world to Sophie. What do you want me to do? Drag him there in chains? Maybe have a quiet word in his ear. I tried, but you can hardly blame him. He would be related to the man who killed his ex-girlfriend. Any word on whether they've caught your brother? Uh, they found his passport in Bangkok. Which means? Which means he probably has a new identity by now. So, no leads and no chance of catching him unless he's stupid enough to make contact. So that's it, he just walks away? If you can call a life spent running from the law walking away. I'm not being much of a brother. From what I saw, you tried your hardest to look out for him, including confessing to a murder for him in a church on your wedding day. I know it was stupid, but the things we do for family. <laughs> Which is why having Hunter at our wedding day would mean a lot to me, too. Hey, I saw that Kakapo video. Extinction is a desperate, desperate thing. <laughs> or maybe the Kakapo had had enough. Maybe all female Kakapos are, like, crazy insane. And maybe Extinction is preferable. Did you tell Lauren about the meat thing? <laughs> no. 
No, I was going to. I even brought this stupid cow to say sorry. Well, what happened? She was talking with her dad, and I was standing right there. But she didn't introduce me. And when I asked her why, she just went all weird. Perhaps it was too soon. No, I embarrass her. Did she say that? No, but I could tell. Oh. Three guesses who wears the pants in this relationship. You're allowed to want to meet her parents, and you're allowed to want to eat meat. I know. Well, then tell her that. Be assertive. No, but she'll dump me. At least you'll be standing up for who you are. And if she doesn't like it, just give her the cow with a little note on it saying, you. Is there pain similar to when you last had renal colic? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there's definitely some tendons oh. there. Uh, two milligrams of morphine, please. Oh. Uh, it looks like you've got another belt. Uh, we'll need x-rays to confirm that, but there's a bit of a weight with radiology, OK? Yeah, okay. Um, you okay here? Yeah, can manage. Good. Hey, you. Hey. Uh, I have a Douglas Fraser wanting his cast off, but I think it might be a little bit early. Um, accident on a library step ladder, I think. Okay, let's have a look. Hey, did, did I screw up my goat parenting yesterday? You mean with, um, saving the honesty for the big stuff? Mm. <laughs> no, you didn't. And funnily enough, today's lesson pushed to knowing what you want in a relationship. Really? Can I take a remedial class? <laughs> and I will get it right next time with Daniel. Oh, you're doing pretty well, actually. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good morning, Squire. I'm busy. Yeah, this won't take long. Um, listen, Sophie and I are having a small commitment ceremony next week. She should have learned a lesson the first time. And we'd really like you to be there. To celebrate my little sister marrying a scumbag? No thanks. Callum's coming. Good for him. It's not just Sophie. I want you there too, mate. It would mean a lot. At your last wedding, you said that you killed Morgan. Is that true? No, I was protecting my brother. Who's still at large, probably thanks to you still protecting him. If you can lie about killing someone, you can lie about anything. Hunter, if we don't get past this, you're gonna lose her. How come every time that we don't do what you say, you threaten to cut her off from us? I'm not cutting her off. I said you will lose her. It's the same thing! No, it's not! You'll lose her, because all she's getting from you is this. This aggression. Well, what do you expect? You don't deserve her! Mr. Buckley's complaining of severe abdominal pain. Abdominal? Hi, uh, Mr. Buckley, I'm just going to check your stomach. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Maxwell. He's a positile mass here. I thought you said green colic. I thought it was. All right, let's get him to recess. Was the mass there when you checked? Um, what well, was it there? Yes or no? I don't know. He was in it with a back pain and a history of renal colic. He never mentioned the pain in his abdomen, so it probably wasn't. So what? You didn't check? I meant to after the x-rays arrived. They still haven't. OK. One litre of saline, please. On it. It's OK. Neil, deep breaths. OK. I have a systolic difference of 40. An aneurysm? Possibly. He's tachycardic. OK. Four units of uncrossed matched blood. Uh, we need on-call surgeon at theatre immediately. And tell him it's a possible triple A. You're gonna be all right, Neil. I suppose you'll be having the steak? Never could pass one up. Typical. More to one yourself. Better than the rabbit food they serve up at sugar, eh? <laughs> I'm only having you on, you know that. Lauren. What are you doing here? Being your boyfriend. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daniel. Your boyfriend? Yeah, happy birthday, Dr. Fitzpatrick. Thanks. Please. Call me Reuben. You're just in time. We're about to order. Uh, Daniel just wanted to meet you, but he has to go to work now. Uh, no, I don't. Please ignore my rude daughter and have a seat. <laughs> Thanks. Good to see Lauren with a normal chap. Not some hippie wannabe with piercings and a protest sign. <laughs> I just spoke to Theodore. Neil Buckley's going to pull through. 
Hey, you were unlucky. That's all. You don't need to go easy on me. Why would I go easy on you? I don't let my personal life affect my professional. And I'll make sure I don't from now on. Good. As for the aneurysm, it happens. Shouldn't have. TK, I get you feel bad, so go have a drink or screw, do Tai Chi, but just get the hell over it. Okay, this isn't getting you anywhere. Have you thought about sitting your part once this year? No. Why not? I need ED consultants. If you can learn to take the knocks, I think you'll make a damn fine one. Yeah, maybe. Just do it, TK. On what's in upwards, etc. Hey, you're after a coffee. Uh, my daughter, actually. Oh, she's meeting the dressmaker at yours. Small uh, room there, apparently. Uh, uh, did you try and speak to Hunter? Yes. <laughs> He's always been stubborn. <laughs> the battles we used to have over vegetables when he was a kid. Who won? I did, via stealth and a food processor. <laughs> I could sneak eight different vegetables into his meatballs. Mind you, child psychologists would have a field day spouting on about trust issues. Yeah, well, I need to do something. Actually, can you meet me at yours about two o'clock? Why? You'll understand when you get there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be back into boxing. But yeah, it's like the best workout ever. It's, it's the most raw form of theatre, boxing. Don't you think? Wow, well, I'd take it over a stuffy old play any day. <laughs> Ruben's head of an amateur dramatic society. Oh, dig in, guys. I know how grumpy you get when you're hungry. I'm fine, thanks. Uh, Daniel? Well, you suppose? They've got meat in them. Oh, I see. Uh, they're all yours, Dad. Well, you're leaf muncher too. Um, if by that you were flippantly referring to vegetarianism, then yes, Daniel is a leaf muncher. Oh. Actually, not anymore. Hey? I've started eating meat again. Since when? Well, since I decided I need to stand up for my beliefs, and I guess I believe in meat. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite your usual animal rights activist here, Lauren. <laughs> What's so funny? He's allowed to eat meat. Uh, you just should have told me, that's all. Oh, cool. I thought you'd freak. <laughs> Go nuts. <laughs> well, can you tell? You'd never know. I got her as fast as I could. Hey, stranger. What is it? Is it mum? No, there's nothing wrong. You left a message with my tutor saying come home immediately. No, I didn't. I think you've been punked. Oh, great. I'll get it. What's with the dress? Uh, it had a little tear in the back. <laughs> How many signs will it take? Kieran, come in. Good afternoon. I just happened to be in the neighbourhood with a friendly celebrant, so I thought I'd stop by. You'll remember Linda. No. I don't believe this. What do you say, my love? Did you tie the knot? Did you know about this? No. I know they're not the best, but we're all here. That's what counts. I'm not staying. Hunter, you're my brother. Please. Slow down. I thought it went okay. Yeah, it was great. So are you mad at me because I'm eating meat again? I'm mad because you made a total fool of me. By being honest, I was standing up for myself, Laura. You're supposed to stand up for me? Hey. You just sat there laughing at everything Dad said. Well, he was kidding around. Yeah, having a ball, picking holes at everything I believe in, which he can do because he believes in nothing. Well, I thought he seemed nice. Of course you did. You played right into his hands. Crazy little Lauren. I'll oh, just give her Daniel. <laughs> yes, Reuben. High five. <laughs> I was hoping to be done by the time you got back. I've left some money on the table for rent and bills. Why did you tell me all that stuff yesterday? What? About the kleptomania. I wanted to. There's no point in hiding from you who I am anymore. And I thought you deserved the truth. So that was really you? That was really me. Look, I need to check into a hotel, so I better get You've moved. been completely honest with me. I was being completely honest about how I haven't been completely honest with you. Look, I've apologised for what I did. Yeah, I know. Now you're moving on. So am I. 
So, how about it? What? Why should we go it alone? The stealing, the manipulation, the smoke and mirrors. Do you think you can leave this behind you? I don't know. Well, I can't decide this for you. Yes. There's some things I'm going to look after. So, you're saying you and me? Hey, if you've gone off the idea. I didn't say that. <laughs> I promise to listen. I promise to be honest, to put you first, and strive every day to be worthy of your love. You're my life, Sophie. My new life. Sophie? I don't have anything prepared. Kieran, I love you. I love the way you smile at me. I love the way you believe in me. I love how safe you make me feel. I trust you. You are my best friend. I will always love you. I don't have your ring here. It's okay. Well, carry on with the pronouncement. No, but I should give him a ring, otherwise it will feel all wrong. I don't want you to make your pronouncement until he has a ring on his finger. I'm sorry. So, it's just a cheap job here. Thank you, Hunter. I now have great pleasure in pronouncing you husband and wife. You make us the bride. Spencer gets deeper and deeper into the cult in Home and Away coming up at half past one. Next, a patient gets a second chance but has no idea what to do with it in Doctors.